it's Charles, the product developer of the popular BioBlaster ozone generators. And today I'm here to demonstrate one of our latest hydroxyl generators. This is the Hydroxymax XT. And this is our entry level hydroxyl generator. So what is an HO or a hydroxyl radical? Well, hydroxyl radicals are formed when a frequency of UV light gets shined onto a catalyst. And what happens is there are millivolts of electricity that are created. And as air passes across that field, through what we call our reaction chamber inside the unit, what happens is the H2O water vapor gets a hydrogen, bang, knocked off. And when that hydrogen gets knocked off, it leaves an HO radical. Now, what's the difference between hydroxyls and ozone? Well, hydroxyls only last for a split second. They're made and then they're destroyed. They're made and then they're destroyed. The lifetime of a hydroxyl ion is one to the negative ninth power seconds. That is a very short lifetime. But what that means is it's one of the few reactions that's capable of interacting with a moving column of air and destroying the pathogens that are contained in it. Viruses, bacteria, mold spores, odors, odor-causing contaminants, VOCs. They're all putty in the hands of the hydroxyl ion. And then what happens is as those HO radicals recombine with the free hydrogens and the other oxygens and particles that are in the atmosphere, a chain of what are called reactive oxygen species events occur, creating what we call dry hydrogen peroxide ions that continue killing on the surfaces. And our hydroxyl technology also features ionization of zinc ions and positive and negative ions. And what happens with the zinc ions, they've been demonstrated to have a 99.9% .9 kill on the surfaces of viruses in the area where they're being run. So that means this is a virus hunting and killing machine. Not only uh, does the uh, the machine doesn't kill anything, but obviously the hydroxyls in the air can. And so what that does is that will provide you with ongoing air exchanges inside of the space, continuously scrubbing and killing and hunting through that reaction zone that's inside this machine. In this model, um, we've upgraded to this model because it has a lot more space where we could fit a squirrel cage blow room. A squirrel cage is the kind of blower that is inside your home's furnace. They're the kind of blowers that will last for years and years and years. You know, many homes have 20, 20, 30 year old furnaces and the squirrel cage is still continuing to run. So this is a very long lifetime machine that's capable of just being in seek and destroy mode 24 hours a day uh, or during the classroom periods. It's ideal for offices, for industrial workspaces, for uh, classrooms, university or, or elementary, high school classrooms, where you've got a lot of people. And the difference between the ozone and the hydroxyl is because of that hydrogen being attached to the free radical oxygen, it's capable of being safely breathed. And so uh, in, these, in this uh, machine, we have uh, first a pre-filter. And this pre-filter is super easy to take in and out. I'll show you, it's just two little clasps. It's got the electrostatically charged pre-filter, which grabs the particulate and scrubs it out. And then inside, we have our hydroxyl generating unit, just making massive amounts of hydroxyls. Now, I can smell that right now inside the reaction chamber. And it is a very, very powerful, powerful machine. We'll go ahead and put the filter back in so that you can see the uh, efficacy when we turn this bad boy on. Snaps back in place. Now this machine also comes with four eye hooks. They mount right here in the top. You take out this screw, put in the eye hooks. It comes with four uh, mounting um, chains so this can hang from a ceiling in a classroom or in an office type setting. And it has a remote control that lets you change the fan speed. It has a low, medium, and high fan speed mode. And it allows for 400 cubic feet of air a minute changes inside that space. We're going to turn this baby on. And I'll show you just what kind of airflow we're talking about. Now, this is low. This is the slowest fan speed. 
and yet you'll see it's capable of easily blowing that almost 20 inch streamer. And we'll take this and we'll hit medium, and you can see it blow a little harder. And then on high, it really starts rocking and rolling, creating massive amounts of air changes throughout this room over and over and over again, continuously cycling that um, air through the reaction chamber into the killing zone and then blowing the fresh, clean air back into the space. So this is the awesome entry-level hydroxyl generator where you're looking to have fresh, clean 